Good morning and welcome to Fat Cow Farm. Now, as you can see, I'm on one of the um, outbuildings here and, um, and I've got some awesome news. Fat Cow Farm has actually come into the world of the internet with high speed. <laughs> I can't believe it, it's actually happened. And um, so what I wanna do is introduce you to the Starlink. And um, we've just had installed a Starlink standard system. Um, for all our internet connections um, and what we can find now is that you know it the speed of the internet is absolutely insane um, compared to what we've had and so what I wanted to do was introduce you to this little guy because I'm thinking for everyone out there who is off-grid this is just absolutely insane about how it works um, and all the benefits really that, that, that come with it. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually turn the camera around so I can um, show you what this little guy is and then we can go from there. I'll see you soon. All right, so as you can see, this is the Starlink standard and basically what it is, it's a, a flat dish, um, so to speak. And it's you know approximately five, uh, 550 mil by about 450 mil wide, and um, a variety of different connections that you can put with it as a part of mounting on a roof or on a side of a wall, or you can it, and it comes standard with um, like a bracket um, that you can just place on the ground. But this little guy here is pretty much where it's all at now as you can see what I've got here this is just a roof mounted bracket um, and I'm thinking off the top of my head you know that was an extra 15 bucks or something like that um, so it was a bit of a no-brainer um, now what we're producing out of this is um, close to around about 300 and between 330 and 350 megabytes a second now i suppose with the starlink system and and i've seen them in the sky the satellites and they all sort of run as a a line and absolutely full on now i've this has only been introduced to me in the last couple of weeks and um we had it installed yesterday and I am just absolutely blown away. Because as you can see in the background, that was our old system. And, um, and that was producing something like, well, I don't know, what, just under 100 megabytes a second. So the size versus this, you know, it's very unobtrusive and, um, and very low profile. And just like, wow. Absolutely wow. So what we're going to have a look at is basically the installation and really what comes in the kit. Um, and a, a few things to remember when setting it up for the Australian market or in the Southern Hemisphere. All right, I'm just going to turn this camera around and we can go from there. All right, so basically what we're looking at is, like I said before, is this the Starlink standard. Now, as a part of the Starlink range, geez, and I, when I was having a look at their website, you know, there was close to maybe five different models that you can choose. There's a mini, the standard, which is what this is. So the standard is really designed for residential properties, um, you know, standalone, on a roof, you're not going to be moving it. I think the Mini was more of a travelling one, so things like um, in the caravan or in a car or something like that where you need to make phone calls, you can set it up in four seconds and you can make phone calls rather than satellite phones. Um, there was a larger one which were, or the larger models are really designed for um, boats because of the pitch and fall of, of the boat. It needed a larger dish to sort of compensate for those rolls when, when picking up the satellites. And it just goes on and on and on. Um, now, what we've found here is, you know, as a part of the setup, and I was really quite taken back actually, you know, we, it, it took like 10 minutes and that was it. Um, basically what you've got is once you've mounted your dish up onto the roof, um, and you've got 
your cable, you know, and, and the cable is ample long enough, um, you know, from where I needed the, where I wanted the modem, because the modem comes in the kit, so that's a third gen modem, um, and there's a power supply that goes with it. Now, basically what you're looking at is once you've got it all sort of plugged into a power source, it just turns on. And, and as a part of the app, and on that's one thing, because <laughs> We are sort of agreeing, uh, made a mistake here, where was that we disconnected the old unit, which was really only designed for phone calls and things like that, and where this is more internet-based, like streaming. So, you know, if you wanted to watch your favourite TV shows or whatever it may be, you can stream those. Um, you can certainly make phone calls and, and, and all those sort of things. So, but as it going back to the setup, you need to download the app. So if you're in an off-grid situation and you don't have reception, make sure you download that app first um, because that then talks to this dish and um, and it gives there's prompts that go through. So you've got to go through your prompt setup with all your, your passwords and codes and, and all that sort of stuff. But there's also one section there called the alignment, which I thought was absolutely fantastic and it'll tell you where to move the dish. Um, so you need to line it up within a square and you just move it and, it, and then the, on the phone it just says, yep, you're all lined up, bang. I mean, that was probably the longest part. Uh, you know, that took me three minutes. And, um, and then once you've got it all lined up, then it just starts working. Like it's just absolutely insane. Um, so what I did notice though, is that in the Southern Hemisphere, um, we need to point the dish on a southerly direction. So I'm then imagining that if you're on a, the northern hemisphere, you would need to point it in the northern direction. And so when I, like as an example, when I just put this up, um, I was helping the guy out, um, I was seven degrees out. And so went to the alignment and then you just sort of move it left or right and then up and down and then you've got the clamps and you can lock it off and it's all done. Um, absolutely fantastic. So, and, then, and look, another thing that I've really noticed too, and I've gone for a bit of a walk around um, this outhouse, and you know, I'm close to about 250 meters from the modem, um, where before just making phone calls, it was, you know, as soon as you left the shed, it was off. Um, and that, look, and, that, and that's obviously technology and things have changed, but certainly great that, you know, you can, have this and, and have the scope to walk around um, and still get phone calls. So absolutely grouse. All right, so what we'll do is I'm just gonna sort of jump down now and turn the camera around and, um, and I'll show you a little bit more about the mounting. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, so just looking at this mounting and like I said before, this is the roof bracket um, that I, I ordered through Starlink as a an extra and basically what it is is that the, when you look at the back end of of this dish the Starlink dish there's like a a, 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 well, a ground mounted tripod almost that just has legs that flops out so you can just bang it on the ground um, that just unclips there's a bracket that sort of clips in and that then attaches to this roof mount like the whole process takes like 30 seconds like it's absolutely insane and then what you've got is that you've got this this ample cable and then that sort of just runs I've got that running down the roof um, so at the moment that's all external um, this actual outhouse is being demolished and um, but I, I was pretty keen to get this up and running and and just give us those options for um, communication um, being out on the farm here so once we've got the, the new shed up and running, um, this system will come off and I'll have everything then, you know, all the cables will be put back into the roof line so that they're all protected and everything else. But, you know, it's just such a simple system. You know, I, I'm absolutely blown away um, by it all. And I think that when we were looking at the initial setup, what we were doing is it was trying to find the satellites um, and you know, to, I thought, oh yeah, this is going to take a while. And I think the the manual said, you know, this could take up to fifteen or ten to fifteen minutes or something. Um, and I think within about three minutes, four minutes, it had picked up what it needed, and um, and then it was all done. 
You're like it is just the simplest system. And that's why I'm thinking that those, the mini Starlink would really be the go when camping because you know, I don't know if you need to watch that footy game or whatever it may be. So you can, you can stream off the satellites. Um, but you know, making emergency phone calls, the whole system's up and running in, in like a minute. And all you need to do is connect it. It goes through the alignment. And once you've got that sort of set up, then you, it tells you straight away on the app on your phone that you're online and you're making phone calls. Like it, it is super, super, super easy. Nothing compared to, you know, like what we've got here. And, you know, as being a, a solid mount and really you have to get the degrees and the pitch and everything super, super right just to make a phone call. Um, and you know, it, it's just one of those sort of scenarios where, you know, there's been many times being out here at the farm and we can't even make a phone call. Like, you know, and I suppose it comes down to an emergencies. So if you needed to have, if you had an accident or something like that and you needed to get an ambulance out here or, or contact someone, you just can't do it. You just can't do it. You just can't rely on it. But technology changes and, um, and then off we go. So like I said before, in the, in the box, it comes with the modem and that's the, this is the third gen, this system. Um, and that, like I said, that gives you the, the scope of around about, you know, 200, 300 meters away from where the modem is based. So, so certainly ample enough for Wi-Fi and, and things like that are, are, around the shed. Um, and that's a power box and it's all just plug, plug in, plug out, plug in, plug out. So as an example, like this cable here plugs into the back side of the dish, the other end of that cable which is then downstairs, that just plugs into the modem and there's a power source that plugs into the modem and then into your power point. And, like, and it's that simple. It is that, that, that simple. So, you know, so what I'm thinking is that really at the end of the day, if, if, if you're thinking about, you know, using satellite phones or upgrading or anything like that, um, there's a couple of plans that I suppose you had the choice of using and you can stop the plans and that was one thing that got me is that if you were traveling you could stop the plan you know you engage it for a month and then stop it engage it for a month and then stop it so this is this one here is a little bit more permanent where you know we've just got a, a monthly plan so it's exactly the same as what we had um for that guy there and um but you know just the, the technology has changed so much so much all right, so yeah, like I was saying before, it's, um, and I'm just gonna turn this phone around. Bear with me. All right, so here we are just inside the shed, and um, I just wanted to show you the modem and the power pack. So as you can see here, this is the modem, and that's the cable um, that runs up to the dish. And like I was saying before, that's got so much cable on it um, that, you can really do whatever you needed to. That's the power pack. So basically what we have is that you've got the cable coming in, plugging into the modem. The power pack has a cable that goes into the back of the modem. And then you've got a power source straight into your GPO. So like the, sim the, 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 the whole thing is just so, so simple. I did, rem I think I do remember seeing that there's a wall mount bracket for the modem. And um, which I think that once we get um, this shed up and running, uh, or the new shed up and running, and this, this system will go in, that what we will do is then have this mounted onto the wall, j just for space saving, really. Um, becomes a lot cleaner and tidier. Um, and I'll have, um, now that I know that, how this system works, is then I'll then have a permanent GPO mounted high on the wall and um, and at least that way it's it's all taken care of rather than just having cables sort of come through. So all I've done is that with the cabling, um, I've come through the walls with, um, or I've, I've clipped it into conduits um, on the side of, of the shed and then um, back into the, through the wall with conduits, just so that there's no rubbing um, in case of wind and things like that. But anyway, look, that's 
that's the modem and what it looks like. And um, so that, that all comes in your box, ready to rock and roll. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, so like I was saying before, is that the basically what we're, we're, we're looking at is, um, you know, as a part of the speed and the services and the communications and things like that, um, I would really just, wow, absolutely wow. And, and I know I'd never heard of this. You know, it was just, I was lucky enough to talk to a fella um, in town and I was like, oh yeah, what are you doing? And rah, rah, rah. We were waiting for a coffee actually. And, um, and he goes, oh yeah, I'm an installer, do these Starlinks. And I'm like, oh, what's that? Like, I had no idea, no idea. But apparently it's all the rage. And so especially for um, those living in sort of off-grid systems, um, where you don't have phone reception or you don't have, you know, constant access to mobile towers and, and things like that. This is such a game changer, such a game changer. Um, absolutely stoked, absolutely stoked. So, you know, now I'll be able to upload more videos and, and you know, because it was just a drama. You know, every time I needed to upload a video, it took like nine hours, or not nine hours, but, you know, it took about three hours and it was it becomes very very hard now it's just like almost instant you know you just like bang downloaded away you go and so i'll be able to check a lot more about you know people's comments and things like that but i tell you what a big shout out um you know starlink has certainly cracked it here for us at um at fat cow farm and and um and i'm just thinking of the cost i think you know, it wasn't super expensive. It was like 350 bucks. Um, and that was direct from Starlink themselves, just on their website. So that was Australian dollars. Um, there could be a lot more or a little bit less or whatever it may be, depending on where you are. Um, but certainly an investment worthwhile. So, you know, if you have that sort of scope where um, you are off grid, mate, check it out. Absolutely insane. All right, so for all about your Starlink, having to plug in three cables, <laughs> couple of screws for the roof, and you're up and running with super fast internet, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.